Hey guys, it's John Weir with Marcus and Milchap. I run the South Bay multifamily team in our El Segundo office. We've sold over $145 million worth of real estate in the last 24 months and are continuing to do the same volume month after month. Today I want to talk to you guys about 1031 exchanges, but more specifically exchanges out of state. A lot of people talk about it, and that's brokers and apartment owners in the area, but not a lot of people do it because I think they think it's a lot more challenging to, to execute on than it really is. In 2018, I had the privilege of exporting roughly $32 million out of California, and the results were phenomenal for the clients. And because of the inventory and the resources we have here at Marcus and Millchap, it wasn't that much different than a regular transaction. On my screen behind is one of the exchanges we did last year. This was a nine unit in Bloomington, California. Uh, my client's a very active plastic surgeon, and he kind of is more passive with his real estate investing. This building was under rent control, and the rents were low. Maybe a younger group or another investor could be a little more aggressive and getting the tenants out and bringing the rents up to market, but that just is not his profile. So we elected to do an exchange out of state. We found 28 units in Henderson, Nevada, about 20 minutes out of downtown Las Vegas. Complete renovation program. The seller put about 250000 in improvements in the property. We bought it at like a 6.84% cap. Leveraged up a little bit. Sold this at a 1.425 at a 4 and a quarter cap. Got him into this deal at 2.15 at a 6.84 cap. Increased his units by 11 units. Increased his cash flow. The best part about this is seven months after we closed escrow, Google announced that they're going to build their $2 billion headquarter right across the street from this property. Of course, he was thrilled on that. Um, this deal took us about five months from start to finish. That's listing the property, escrow, um, t executing on the finance to closing escrow on the apartment building. He's experienced a huge jump in his cash flow. Another awesome exchange we did last year was a property that we sold in Redondo Beach. This was 19 units on Meyer Lane. Um, you could call it North Redondo Beach submarket. 1960s built, definitely an underperforming asset. My client had owned it free and clear. They've owned it for like 30 years. And they, because of all the things going on in California, were very um, motivated to go out of state. They like states like Texas and Nevada as well as Arizona. After looking at a bunch of inventory, we found this sweet deal, 65 units in Grand Prairie, Texas, um, about 20, 30 minutes out of downtown Dallas. 65 units, 2004 built, so they got in a new product. They, told, they made a huge increase in their unit count, and we were able to get them interest-only financing and put an extra, I believe it was $75,000 a year in net cash flow in their pocket. Mike emailed me about eight months later after this, after this exchange and told me that it was the first time ever he was able to take his family of seven on a vacation because of the exchange and the extra cash in their pocket. If you have any questions or want to look at out-of-state inventory, our company puts together annual national multifamily forecasts, which breaks down every single submarket in the country. And what can you expect from a price per unit, price per square foot, the cap rate environment, as well as some of the economic drivers in those markets. I'm a huge advocate for going out of state. I've personally invested in a couple of apartment buildings in Phoenix and would love to share some of my insight on all of this. If you have any questions, you can reach me on my cell phone, my direct line, or my email. Thanks.